Welcome, this is Dr. Benzinger on Health with SecondOpinion.org. Antibiotics and steroids overuse in treatment of sinus problems with over 17 million patients treated per year for sinus problems. Researchers report that physicians are over-treating both acute and chronic sinus inflammation as compared to published treatment guidelines. Hadley Sharp and associates from University of Nebraska Medical Center reported that 83% of the acute sinusitis visits were treated with an antibiotic, as were 70% of the visits of chronic sinusitis. Penicillins were prescribed most, which were in line with the recommendations from the Sinus and Allergy Health Partnership. However, physicians were too frequently prescribing types of antibiotics not recommended for sinusitis treatment. In addition, inhaled steroids were prescribed more frequently than recommended by the partnership. The only medication thought to be prescribed correctly was antihistamines, which were used 25% of the time for acute sinusitis and 21% of the time for chronic cases. Sharp and Associates did, however, raise the question why, if these drugs were not considered to be as effective, would doctors continue to prescribe them? The, the source Archives of Otolaryngology, Head and Neck Surgery, March 2007. Dr. Grossan's book called The Sinus Cure should be in every family doctor's office and used as a main source of information on this topic. The overuse of antibiotics is causing aggressive advancement of bacterial infections. These new bacterial strains no longer respond to our existing arsenal of antibiotics. I beg of you to review this book on secondopinion.org, buy it, and follow Dr. Grossan's recommendation in this area. It will save lots of money and months, if not years, of your life suffering from sinus-related conditions. Dr. Grossan has done wonderful work in this area, has been in this field for many years. I think you'll find the book valuable and the, uh, the health-saving value is wonderful. Uh, we'll look for you next time. This is Dr. Sean Benzinger with secondopinion.org. May God bless you.